I'm Dehesa and I'm a dentist. I practice pediatric dentistry and cosmetic dentistry also. My favorite learnings from St. Paul Pasig is that it can actually be summarized by the acronym P-R-A-Y or PRAY. To pause in order to pray. You pray for guidance, you pray for direction before you go and play the game plan that God has prepared for us. The next is the value of, um, I have learned the value of respect. So that means you treat people the same way, regardless of their background. So now, it allows me to establish a meaningful relationship with the people I get in touch with. And when I treat patients, whether they are charity patients or paying patients, you treat them the same way. St. Paul taught me to live for the audience of one. And that audience of one meaning live my life for God, for God alone. Therefore, you strive for excellence. You, when you work, you work hard, not because you're working for, for men, but you work for the Lord. The letter Y, you only live once, so YOLO. St. Paul taught us to live our lives for God and for others, to live selfless. You give, you give your talents, you give your skills to other people because you know that they came from the Lord and you're just an instrument to share these talents and your skills to other people. So once you know who you're living your life for, then you can start living your life with a purpose. You start living your life meaningfully, and intentionally. Because of that, it's, it's easier to, to give back to other people. I would actually like to, to, thank, to say thank you to our dearest sisters, our beloved teachers, and even to my wonderful batchmates because they were able to help me learn all these things and these things helped me go through the ups and downs of life. But most importantly, I'd like to thank them for allowing God to use them to touch the lives of the students and the people around them, including my life. I'm Dr. Diane De Hesa, and I am from Batch 94. I'm going back to give back. Um, hi, I'm Mary Sheila P. Pedrajas. I've been here in St. Paul as a teacher for 17 years. My key learnings here in St. Paul is that we will always believe in the God, our God. I rely on prayer every day. I learned also that um, we need each other to be of service. And I also learned that there will always be changes. And St. Paul helped me to be very flexible in those changes. Always be compassionate, always respect every person there with you. Of course, the value of obedience. Somehow you cannot question <laughs> the wisdom behind those words of wisdom. And values also of prayerfulness, of generosity, and be of service. I also learned the value of Christ-centeredness, value of friendship, of truthfulness also, honesty, and being uh, giving. St. Paul have equipped me and also trained me to accept new challenges. The school also gave me reasons to be resilient, to be disciplined and to be responsible for my actions. I've always loved my family. We always go back to that feeling of family. And that's 
what I always do also in, in my work now, I treat the school, I treat my colleagues as family. So you give your best. You give also your heart. You serve without really expecting something in return. I've been a music teacher for so long. I always go back to that culture of letting the kids belong to a family, to a school, where they would feel safe, trusted, and someone to lean on. My, my parents were teachers, so the, I think the giving back or giving to the students or the communities deeply rooted in me. I'm Mary Sheila P. Pedrajas. I'm going back to give back. Good evening, classmates. This is Joselle Vistal Casafi of Batch 1994 of St. Paul College of Pasadena. Ako yung classmate niya na laging pumuli ng program. At ngayon, ako ay isang asawa, nanay, negosyante, at kasalukuyan ang limang taon bilang mayor ng Larry Del Pulacan. Sa St. Paul College of Pasadena, marami ako matutupan, lalo na ang values of simplicity, humility, and the value of helping others. Kaya siguro dati, may ka-president ako. At kung ano yung ginagawa ko nun, ginagawa ko pa rin ngayon, only on a bigger scale. Yung pagtulong sa iba ay isa sa mga bagay na ginagawa ko araw-araw. Araw ko sa scholar, sa mga sakit, sa mga nangyayari. At sa same point, natutunan ko kung paano makipag-usap ng puso sa puso. Ganun ang ginagawa ko na ito. Inihintindi ko kung ang kailangan, ang usap ko, at kung puso ko sa bato, hindi ko ba ang tutulong. It is time to share and to give to others. I hope you do to this one. At ibang fulfillment ang tutulong ko na. Ngayon, hindi ako mayaman in terms of wealth. Hindi ko masasabi, kasi dahil ako ng isang buhay ko na nakasama sa mga pangalan ko ng mag-aaral. Pero, Kung bibilangin ko yung dami na natutulungan ko, siguro masasabi, milyonaryo na rin ako sa puso. Kaya sana, maging milyonaryo rin kayo sa katulong sa mga. It's time to give, to give back, classmates. Maraming salamat.